Once again, thank you so much for coming this evening. It's wonderful to have you here for Views and Brews on Miles Davis and the Making of Kinda Blue. <laughs> Woo! So we talk a lot about uh, you know, jazz as a conversation. And I'm interested in what you both think of um, what's being said in this piece and in Kind of Blue. Practically, spiritually, you know, socioculturally. Any thoughts? Well, Miles used to talk about spending summers in Arkansas on the plantations and that sometimes he would walk through the woods and then he would hear um, people in church singing and he would hear the call and the response. And so for him, he really, he really enjoyed that, that conversation there. Kind of Blue came out in 1959, and uh, one of the critics uh, was listening to it, and he actually asked his nine-year-old child what she thought of Kind of Blue and the moods that were set, and she said that the music sounds like a little boy who's been locked out and wants to get back in. So that's what the nine-year-old said. the music itself, he knew to set himself apart from jazz at that time, which was hard bop and bebop, he had to come up with a different sound, something that was unique. And so he chose to play in middle and lower registers, and he also chose to, um, to hire musicians at the height of their explorations, and, and just before they became really famous. And so that's what I think it is. I think it's He's trying to set himself apart and take jazz in a completely new direction. It represents beyond form, it represents feeling. And I think feeling is something, certainly after World War II and, and uh, otherwise, uh, as uh, I think Miles Davis was responding to a lot of crisis in, in our consciousness and in our spiritual situation, that this represented something that goes beyond, again, time and space and form. And it really just exposed the complexity that is lying within us, that it's just a scratching uh, sense away of both um, the beauty and uh, the savage that is within us. And I think that that's what this represents. It, restrain it's, it represents unrestrained Excuse me, restrained beauty. A lot of restrained beauty here.
Ephraim Owens on trumpet. Sam Lipman on saxophone. Rich Harney on piano. Daniel Durham on bass. J. James Johnson, lighten it up on drums. 